Hello everyone and welcome back. My hair is wet again because this is a college outfits video. Throughout college I was always showering right before class or going anywhere so <laughs> this is just what I always looked like to people and still I show up to work with wet hair because I suck. Anyway, I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you some of my go-to favorite college outfits for different scenarios, seeing as I just graduated from college and I miss being able to wear whatever I want, whenever I want. So, let's get into the video. I call this one, I'm here for the participation points. It also can be accessorized with your iced coffee, makeup free face, a angry glare at anybody making too much noise at your 8 a.m. lecture. Of course, we accessorize with flip flops. It's too early to put on real shoes. I'm getting back in bed when I get home. I don't wanna have to take shoes and socks off. The sweatshirt is PewDiePie merch. The sweatpants are Target. This outfit is for going drinking. Now, a lot of people feel comfortable wearing this. I am not a lot of people, okay? This is too much of my body showing. I can't have people seeing this much of me. Okay, I start to feel really insecure. So, you get a little flannel action. This is a cute little one from Target like two years ago. Now, you only gotta focus on sucking in one part of your body. You don't have to think about your fat arms. I'm speaking about my own body, not yours. You might have really skinny arms. And then I pair it with whatever shoes have decided to ruin it at house parties and bars this season. The shorts are American Eagle, I think. The top is Forever 21. And it's just a cute, simple, nothing fancy, nothing crazy outfit. And then when you get a little cold at night, you know, you get a little something to cover up. So, oh, also, this was the move back in the day. People don't really do it anymore, it went out of style, but boom. You cover up your belly after eating drunk pizza. I'm telling you, I gotta think about these things. <laughs> this look is called the, I think I'm gonna go work out after class, but I haven't really decided yet. A lot of the decision making comes in the footwear. If you wear your athletic shoes to class, you're more likely to go to the gym because changing out of your flip-flops into your gym shoes, which maybe you forgot at home, is a whole ordeal. The great thing about this outfit is it is also comfortable because you would be working out in it. The pants, Lululemon, bright red, a seasonal color. <laughs> the shirt is stolen from my older brother who played club soccer at San Diego State. <laughs> These are Nike Epic Reacts, I think. And then this can also be paired with, once again, the hoodie. I think the hoodie is my favorite college item of clothing. I own far too many of them for that reason. This one again is Nike. And so that you don't get zits on your chin, you just use this to slump over in class. Once again, paired with the iced coffee, and the I don't want to be here look. I hope this video is any good because this is a, lot, a really sweaty time for me. Okay, another favorite outfit. I don't know why, but something about this makes me feel, I don't know, like I live in like a music video or something. I have a whole jersey collection that I ordered off of um, this website, DHgate, where they send you everything from China. This is a Dwayne Wade Miami Heat jersey in the, I think it's called Miami Nights, like the colorway. So it's got this really fun teal and hot pink. And then look, you, can you see my little pink bra? Cute. And then I have on little Lulu shorts, but that's really just so that I'm not naked underneath. It's like, it's a full dress length, you know? It's a men's large, I think. And then this is usually a going out outfit, but sometimes I wear it just to like hang out because I don't know it just makes me feel powerful. I've never been very athletic so maybe that's what it is. But you just pair it with 
some Nike socks, and whatever shoes you're ruining at the moment. And then you can go to jersey parties. Uh, you can't get into the bars in a, in a jersey. Riley's will let you in, but Madison Bear won't. Like, it's very strange. So keep that in mind if, uh, if you want to go to the bars, because they won't let you in looking like this. But this is the most fun outfit for going out, because you don't really care about anything, because you're all covered up. People think that you're cool automatically. People also think you have money, because these usually cost like $200, but they're $15 on DHK. I don't know. This is, I feel like nostalgic for my college years already, because this was quite possibly the peak in my life is when I was just rolling around in jerseys all the time. Okay, last one. This doesn't fit as well as right when I made it, because uh, I had lost a bunch of weight for this Halloween. Not a bunch, but I really tried to get skinny in advance, because I knew I'd be wearing this. So one year for Halloween, I didn't want to spend like $50 on a costume, and I loved that Doja Cat music video where she's a cow. That was back when like that was the only thing she was really known for. Like TikTok hadn't happened yet. She hadn't blown up or anything. So I made this Halloween costume. Costume. So this is a skirt from Forever 21 that I cut and sewed a, you can probably see how hand stitched it is, a zipper into so I'd be able to put it on, cut it to the right length because the skirt used to go down to my knees. And then I made this top just out of cow fabric from Hobby Lobby, including the puffy sleeves. And you can see my stitch work all around here. I grew up in Catholic school, so they taught us how to sew. Uh, and then I went to an all-girls school, and they also taught us how to sew there, which is kind of weird and sexist. But I know how to sew pretty well. I don't have a sewing machine. I don't really know how to use that, but I know how to hand sew. So I hand sewed and measured this Doja Cat costume. Anyway, the point is Halloween. Okay, this is my greatest Halloween <laughs> costume. It just is. I'll probably wear it again this Halloween because it still kind of fits me. It's a little tight in the shoulders, but I can make that work. And um, Halloween, I mean, I don't know if it's happening this year, so maybe that's not important, but it's like one of the biggest going out events of the year. Every year I had like three different costumes, but sometimes we only go out like two nights. My advice is to try to make them like DIY Maybe not this intense, but the dollar store, you can get a bunch of supplies and basically make your own costumes because actually purchasing costumes are really expensive. But if you do buy them on Amazon, return them the next uh, like week after you've used them. Big noggin time. Bitch, I'm a cow. <laughs> I'm not putting that in. That concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching. There's too much cleavage on the screen, so I'm gonna just cover that up. I really appreciate you. Me and my puffy sleeves. Love and support you always. I hope college is going well. I don't know if you guys get to even be allowed in anywhere, so that's rough. But this video was fun for me to make. And sorry my hair's always wet in all my content. I just am lazy. I don't know. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>